Hello, welcome back. My name is Chris Miller, and in today's video tutorial, we're going to take another look at WP Migrate DB Pro. Now, in the previous video, we took a look at some of the basic settings and how to push a local database up to your staging, <clears throat> sorry, up to your staging site. And in this video, we're going to take a look at a common uh, issue that you might run into, especially if you're working on maybe a shared hosting environment or hosting any hosting environment that you're not in control of. The particular thing that I'm talking about is when uh, the site times out or errors out. And it's going to be very difficult for me to replicate that in this vi uh, particular video. But what I'm going to do is show you on the setting screen what to look at and what to do in those situations as a good first step for troubleshooting. So let's get started. I'm going to come over here to the... Actually, that is on the staging site. So let's flip over here. Okay, this is our local site. And uh, we'll come down here to Tools, Migrate DB Pro. And we're going to come over here to Settings. And that's going to take us right back to the screen we were just at. And uh, next, we're going to scroll down. And yes, my license key is right there. But it's not revealing the entire license key. It's obfuscating a large part of the beginning. So I'm not going to hassle with blurring it out in this particular video. Um, and so down here is what we're looking for, request settings. Now, the maximum request size and delay between requests are the two things, the two settings that you will want to tinker with, especially if you're finding that you're having timeout issues when trying to deploy or push a database, theme files, plugin files, or media files. Uh, we'll take a look at what this says here. And it says, we've detected that your server supports requests up to 25 megabytes, with, uh, but it's possible that your server has limitations that we cannot detect. So again, it's saying that you can uh, up, uh, increase, or decrease it based on um, what the experience is like. What I usually like to do is I usually like to take this all the way up just to see how far we can push it. And after the first deployment, if we're already hitting an, an error or an issue, maybe drop it down to, uh, I don't know, somewhere around 15, and then maybe 10, and then maybe all the way down to one or two. Again, you just really have to measure and gauge what it's doing for you if you are hitting uh, a roadblock or an issue. Delay between requests. Again, uh, says some servers have rate limits which the plugin can hit when performing migrations. So that basically means whenever uh, this plugin is deploying the, data, the database or plugins or themes, whatever you, you chose to deploy, um, there's so many requests that are happening in succession. And when those requests are happening, uh, we, we have no idea, if unless we're hosting it, and we're the ones responsible, right? Uh, no idea what uh, settings or limitations that there might be on the other side. So uh, I usually start at zero, just kind of let it, let it go as fast as it can. But again, if it's hitting errors or issues, increase that number to one second. If it still has issues, increase it to two seconds and keep bumping it up uh, until you get to a point where uh, hopefully it's successful. And if it's still not successful after using both of these troubleshooting techniques, they do have a way that you can reach out for help. You can click on the help tab there and you can fill in the information here to get some assistant, assistance from Delicious Brains. I've often found though, it's going to be uh, one of those two that will solve the issue in most cases. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you have any questions or suggestions, leave it in the comment section below as well. If you're on Twitter, come find me at Miller T. Chris and check out some of the other videos that are on this channel.